Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Going to read through this full article, links in the description. I am a couple of days late, but I've done a quick Google search and there's no further update at this stage. This is in regards to a tragic case which happened in October 2017. Essentially, to keep things brief, a father killed his daughter, his 17-month-old daughter, Mackenzie Main, and then he seemingly attempted to commit suicide he failed and uh, it seems like perhaps it wasn't the uh, a, a fully genuine attempt at suicide but regardless of that the main point is that um he's currently in a trial uh, for the murder of his daughter um which again occurred in october 2017 that trial commenced on the monday just gone and um, we're now on thursday in australia so two three days ago uh, again, I've done a Google search. I've not seen any updates uh, in regards to a conviction. Uh, so I would imagine, uh, I'm guessing, that uh, there might be some updates over the next couple of days. If so, I will likely uh, report back in regards to them. But let's look at the article. Again, it's an, a horrific case involving child murder. So brace yourselves. On Monday, the trial began for a Florida man accused of murdering his 17-month-old daughter in 2017. In October 2017, police officers found Jeremy Main's toddler daughter, Mackenzie Main, drowned in the bathtub of the family's Lake County home. The grisly discovery was made after the girl's mother, Holly Farrington, called 911 claiming that Jeremy Main admitted to killing their daughter. Um, so Farrington was at work, uh, the mother was at work in an area called Ocala, if I pronounce that correctly, when Jeremy Main, the father, called her and revealed he had killed their daughter. Uh, and he said, during that conversation, he said, you're going to have a bad day. And then he went on to tell her that, um, he tried to kill himself and uh, apparently he slit his wrists and he wasn't successful in c killing himself. So Farrington called the police. The police attended the uh, premises and they found the toddler wearing a diaper floating face down in the bathtub. Uh, Jeremy Main went to the police station. Apparently he drove himself and he handed himself in uh, I guess would be the right term and here's a quote from Jeremy Main when he went to the police station I killed my daughter and I failed to kill myself uh, he later told investigators he ruined his life and made a big mistake police officers reportedly observed superficial cuts on his Jeremy Main's wrists when he turned himself in so superficial cuts so as I say as if he probably didn't make a genuine attempt to kill himself. That would be my speculation. What do I know? Nothing at all. But uh, I would imagine that if you wanted to cut your wrist, if you were genuine about it, then you, you would go ahead and do it. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about these things. Back to the article. Authorities believe Jeremy Main killed his daughter to punish the mother for seeking a divorce. Uh, they got married in July 2015. And again, this incident, the murder of their child, happened in October 2017. So, you know, just a little over two years during their marriage. Um, the mother, Farrington, said she knew her then husband was an underachiever when they got married, but he became controlling and paranoid. Despite this, the mother said she never expected Jeremy Main, the father, to harm their daughter. Of course, I mean, it must be really weird to to suspect that your partner is going to harm your child. Uh, that must be a really a situation which, you know, any normal person would, would find, you know, you, your brain's not going to go there unless there are real red flags going off, I would imagine. Um, back to the article. In 2018, months after the toddler's murder... Jeremy Main told the judge that he did not believe his marriage was irretrievably broken. Um, but the judge disagreed and granted the divorce. I mean, I'm going to say this, and this is a bit of a silly thing to say, but isn't he a little bit insane? I, I would think that uh, 
killing one's own daughter would put you in the insane bracket but but uh he he felt that uh he could still maintain a relationship with his wife the mother of the child that he murdered um the defense is expected to call an engineer who will testify that it's possible the toddler got into the bathtub on her own uh, prosecutors have listed two jailhouse informants as witnesses jeremy main faces the death penalty if con if convicted of his daughter's first degree murder um the trial is expected to conclude by friday so there's a couple of days left uh within that time frame so again if i see an update uh i will let you know perhaps i'll look for an update uh on the friday I guess it's fair to note that there is a defense, there is a claim that um, the toddler got into the bathtub on her own. Maybe that's true, but other aspects of the article have let us know that Jeremy Main admitted both to the mother and to the police that he was responsible for her death. I killed my daughter. Um, so there's that article again. Very horrific gonna remind you to check out some of the friends of the channel um if you need a little bit of respite if these subjects get you down and they get me down a little bit then check out um check out uh, my own other channel white cis mail uh, down on the home page there's a couple of links for at the end of the day uh, bella does live streams and uh kind of whatever they do live streams too so nice pleasant communities if that's what you're looking for.